What's up there, everyone? How's it going? We are here today to work on our handstands on the beam. So um, for anyone that really wants to get their cross handstand, or in the olden days when you used to be in gymnastics, like a million years ago, how I was, it's uh, called an English handstand. That's what it used to be called. And we're also going to work on the side handstand, like a cartwheel to handstand. And then we'll do the level five and six dismount also. So let's get a move on. I coached for years. I do stunts for TV and film. And gymnastics has been part of my life forever. So let's get a move on here. Oh, and pardon my messy hair. I was working out before this, so it's a little, you know, disheveled. <laughs> so that's okay, though. We'll work with it. All right, so first uh, we're gonna do the cross handstand. Your thumbs are gonna go on top of the beam. Your fingers are gonna go on the side of the beam. You wanna start tall, right? With the arms by the ears, you're gonna kick your leg up with the leg turned out, of course, and not in like this because this doesn't look very good. So pinky toe down, heel up when you kick. Alrighty, so kick a -roo, and then you're gonna step and you're going to lunge, getting the back leg up at the same time, like a seesaw. Okay, so you don't want to put the hands down to the beam and then lift the leg. You want the back leg to continuously go as your upper body goes. I know it's so complicated, but it really isn't that complicated. Once you get it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I totally get it. All right, so you're going to reach. Look at my back leg. It goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up. Shoulders are pushed, you're looking at the hands. The back leg stops at vertical, and the other leg joins it. Squeeze your body, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you're gonna split, put the foot down, back leg up, chest up, and lunge. And there we have a beautiful cross handstand. Okay, so the most important part is to think of that back leg Stopping, like there's a wall, look at a wall right here, and the back leg stops at the wall and then the other leg joins it. Because if you let that back leg go past the wall, well, oh boy, we're gonna fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we're gonna move on to our cartwheel to handstand. So it's basically the same situation. Oh, and by the way, when you step into your handstand, you can also go on a straight leg. Um, so arms up, kick, we'll do straight leg for this one, back leg up as you go, up, 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 up. start turning the hands, back leg stops at vertical, and the other leg joins it, squeeze your butt, push your shoulders tall, like there's someone grabbing your feet and pulling them to the ceiling. All right, look at your hands, okay? And we're going to go ahead and do the dismount. So what you do is put the weight on the right hand, and you're going to turn to the right uh, like this, lifting the left hand up with the shoulder pushed out. And then when you land, you pull your chest up at the same time your feet are going down. It's that whole seesaw effect thing. The As the bottom half goes, the top half lifts. You want to land nice and tight. Don't let your butt go like this, because this does not look good. Get that baby under there, okay? Stomach really, really tight, all right? No noodle dance or whatever you want to call it. As you're turning for that dismount, you really want to keep that shoulder. You want that shoulder pushed out like you can't push it out anymore. It should even... You know, you should feel those muscles really working. Do lots of handstands against the wall with your stomach facing the wall. Shrug the shoulders up, down, up, down, up, down, just to get that, you know, just to get those shoulders, you know, really strong. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the cross handstand into the dismount. We just did the side handstand into the dismount. Now we're going to do the one with the thumbs on the top, fingers on the side. Okay, here we go. Okay, so arms up, stomach in, hip straight, kick away. I'm going to do bent leg, back leg up, 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 reach, 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 arms by the ears, back leg stops, squeeze, push through the shoulder, chest comes up, butt 
is under, and we have the beautiful level five dismount. Okay, for our final handstand combination, we're gonna do the cross handstand. Then, as you're in your handstand, you're gonna put the pressure, the weight, into your right arm and wrist, and you're gonna turn to the right, and you're gonna face your left hand forward, okay? Now, the most important thing for this is keeping your feet exactly over your head and over the beam, okay? Because if they fall forward or back, well, we all know what's gonna happen. You're just gonna wipe out like that, okay? Oh, remember, if you fall, never put your hands back, okay? Always bring them in here, chin to the chest, and just curl up in a ball and roll so you don't hurt your arms or your wrists, okay? Here we go, last thing. Sorry I talk so much, everyone. You just gotta learn all the, you know, tips and technique, and then you're gonna be like a super duper handstand machine. Okay, here we go. So, lift nice and tall here. Remember to keep those arms by your ears and look for your hands, okay? Because if your head sticks out really far, it makes you arch. You want it, your body just so tall and those shoulders. Remember, there's a giant person up there pulling your feet straight up or like a giant like vacuum or something like a tunnel. I don't know. And you're just like getting sucked up. But your hands are stuck on the beam. They're glued so that you can't fly away. All right. Here we go. Nice big kick. Leg turned out. And reach back. Leg goes up. Up, push through the shoulders, back leg stops at vertical, join the other leg, squeeze your butt. Now I'm going to turn to the right. Oh, I bent my arms there a little bit. That's bad. I don't want to bend them. Squeeze, squeeze, push through the shoulders. I'm going to turn to the right, put the weight in my right shoulder, lift the left hand up, chest goes up, voila. Okay, so there you go. Just don't bend your arms how I did. Really keep those arms straight and your legs. Okay, everyone, you did such a great job. Oh my gosh. And I hope you learned something and I wish you all the best of luck with your handstands on the balance beam. And remember, you don't wanna try this up on the high beam until you have it really mastered on a lower beam. Then you wanna put mats under the high beam. And then when you're totally confident and your coach says, you're good to go, then you do it, okay? Always safety first, safety first. So, end of the workout trick. I'm gonna do my press handstand to a plant for ya. Here we go. Same kind of movement there, with the, like the handstand and the side handstand. Please turn. Lower. Oh boy, I gotta practice this more. Oh. And there you have it, everyone. See you around and check out my other tutorials if you want. Thanks so much.